This is a level two practice paper from high field. In this part, you can't use a calculator, but you can in the second part. So we'll have a look at the questions one by one. Calculate the median. We've got 10, 36, 48, 36, 92, 45, 50, 21, 15, 19, 36, and 24. We've got to write the answer in the box below. So to work out the median, we've got to put the numbers in order and then pick the middle number. So I'm going to put them from the smallest to the largest or you could do them from the largest to the smallest, it would give you the same result anyway. So the smallest one here is 10. Then we have 15, 19, 21, 24, we've got 36 and another 36 and another 36 and 45 48 50 and 92 so I'm going to cross them out one on each side to find out what sits in the middle So we've got two numbers, 36 and 36. So in this case, we don't need to add them to and divide by two. We just go 36 because it's the same number. So 36 is the median of this data set. Calculate 6.4 times 8.5 so 6.4 times 8.5 what I'm going to do is ignore the decimal points for now and just multiply 64 by 85 so we'll start with the 5 times 4 that is 20 so 0 down and 2 carried over 5 times 6 is 30 and the 2 is 32 now we're going down, so I'm going to put a zero first, and then 8 times 4 is 32. So 2 down and 3 carried over. 8 times 6 is 48, and the 3 is 51. So adding them two together, 0, 4, 4, 5. Now this is the point where I put the decimal point in. So looking at the first number, we've got one decimal place, which means one digit after the decimal point. And same thing with the number underneath. So we've got one decimal place. So both of them together, it's two decimal places. So I'm going to start from the end, one, two. So the decimal point should go here. So the answer is 54.40 or 54.4. You are a customer at Highfield Bank. You pick up this leaflet when visiting the bank, which says, Premium savings account, 6% interest. Terms and conditions, interest applied annually. Minimum savings term, two years. You put £900 into the Highfield Bank premium savings account for two years. Calculate the total amount of interest you will earn after two years, compound interest. Show your working out and write the answer in the box below. So this is at 6% interest. So 6% of £900 first. So 
since we can't use the calculator, so I'm going to go through the 1% method. So 1% of 900 pounds, that is going to be just nine pounds. So we divide the 900 by 100 because 900 pounds is worth 100%. Divided by 100, it's going to give you just 1%. So that is nine pounds. Now, 6%. That is going to be 6 times 9, 54 pounds. So that's for the first year. Now, at the end of the first year, they're going to have 954 pounds. So now we need to work out 6% of 954 pounds. So 1% again is going to be 954 divided by 100, and that gives us 9.54. So we move the decimal 0.2 places to the left. So 6% of 954 is going to be equal to 9.54 times 6. So 6 times 4 is 24. 6 times 5 is 30 and the 2 is 32. So 2 down and 3 carried over. 6 times 9 is 54 and the 3 is 57. I put the decimal point in as I went along, but you could double check or if you just wanted to multiply first and then put the decimal point at the end, that's perfectly fine as well. So we have two decimal places, the top number, and there is none with the second number, so two overall. So that is correct for 57.24. So we've got 54 pounds for the first year and 57.24 the second year. Adding them together gives us 111 pounds and 24 pence. Question four, question number four. The bank is ordering more leaflets. Leaflets are packaged in boxes like this. We've got top of the box. Boxes must be kept upright. So the height is 25 centimeters, length is 14 and the width is 14 centimeters. The boxes are to be stored in a cupboard. The base of the cupboard is 1.2 meters by 0 0.6 meters and it is 0 0.8 meters in height. What's the maximum number of boxes that can be stored in the cupboard? Show your working out and write your answers in the box below. Okay, so we've got the dimensions of the box in centimeters. 14 by 14 by 25 and we've got the dimensions of the cupboard in meters so we're going to convert them to centimeters you could do in meters and that's absolutely fine as well so the height of the cupboard in centimeters is 80 and We've got length and the width. So the length is 120 centimeters and the width is 60 centimeters. So how many of these boxes can I fit in here? We've got in terms of the height, 
25. So how many 25s would fit into 80? That would be three of them, which makes 75. So there is a gap. And then, you know, of course, you can't fit another one in that into that five centimeter gap. So this has supposed to be the same length. So we'd have three rows. How many can we fit along the length? So 14 centimeters. How many of them would fit into 120? So 120 divided by 14. So the way I'm going to do this, 14 times 10 would give us 140. So 10 of them wouldn't fit. What about nine? So 140 take away 14. Again, that's higher than 120. So I'm going to go to eight. So eight lots of 14. Four times eight is 32. One times eight is eight and the three is 11. So that is eight lots of them. And we'd have an eight centimeter gap at the end. So we'd have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. And along the width, how many 14s fit into 60? So 60 divided by 14 into 120 fitted eight of them. So could it be four? Since six is half of 120, so 14 times four, four times four is 16, four times one is four, and the other one is five, so 56, that is good. So one, two, three, four. I'm not going to try and draw the boxes, but just to give you an idea. So that would fit one box and then you can continue. So we said there were three rows. So there would be another one here and another one here and so on. So three rows and we've got them, eight of them fitting along the length and we've got four of them along the width. So if we just multiply these numbers, it's going to give us how many boxes. So three times eight is 24 times 4, 96. So 96 boxes. You work as a driver for high field transport. When Highfield Transport gets busy, it offers overtime to a driver. There are five drivers at Highfield Transport. The probability of there being overtime available in any given week is one quarter. Driver allocated overtime is chosen at random. So there are five drivers. What's the probability of you being allocated over time next week, give your answer as a fraction and a percentage. Show you're working out and write the answer in the box below. Okay, so there are five drivers, so I would be one fifth of the team, one out of the five. And the probability is a quarter of that, so a quarter of the fifth. And when we say off, we multiply, so working out a quarter of this. So we go 1 times 1 is 1, 4 times 5 is 20, so is 1 over 20, or 1 20th. And that is the fraction, but we need to work out the percentage as well. So 1 20th, you might know this already, so if you've got 1 
100 and divided by 20, it gives you 5, so that is 5%. Or if you want to go 1 divided by 20, how many 20s fit into 1? That is 0. And if I add a 0 there now, it goes 20 into 10, that's 0 again. And if I add another 0, 20 into 100, that is 5. So 0 0.05 as a decimal, which is also 5%. And there are many different ways of doing this anyway. I'm just showing one. So 1 20th and 5%. because we need both of them. And the final question for this part, you plan in the delivery of furniture to two customers. You expect that you'll drive at an average speed of 50 miles per hour. Unloading each delivery will take 30 minutes. You leave the depot at 8 a.m. What time would you return to the depot if everything went to plan? Show you're working out and write the answer in the box below. So, for each delivery, it will take 30 minutes. So there's 30 minutes here as well. So 30 minutes and 30 minutes makes one hour. And looking at the miles in total, we've got 55, 110, 135. Adding them all together. So it's 300 miles. Now we know that the speed, the average speed is 50 miles per hour. So 50 miles, one hour. What about 300 miles? How many hours will that take? To get from 50 to 300, we multiply by 6. So you could put 300 divided by 6 to give us 50, if you want. So we are going to do the same thing on the other side. So 1 times 6 gives us 6 hours. So 6 hours, that is for... The driving and we also have one hour for the actual delivery so that is seven hours in total so if we leave the depot at 8 a.m. what time will it return so 8 a.m. if we add four hours that gives us 12 p.m. so we have then three hours left from the because four and three makes seven hours so that is 3 p.m. and this is the end of this part